Then Sing Dong Ma, one face, the face of a lion, a snow lion with three eyes gaping and mouth open with tongues rolling, very fierce and the hair all standing up, very violent, filled, filled with violence, screaming and shaking this lady, jumping. The energy is fantastic. It's this lady with a lion head with two arms holding a cleaver skull cup, dancing on a corpse, blue in color, with her breasts hanging, naked, showing her secret organ. She doesn't care anymore. No more conventions. And she wears animal skins. She's assisted by the boar-headed dakini and the tiger-headed dakini. Incredible. And then her body is magnetic. She's jumping and screaming. She holds a katanka. She's jumping and she's screaming and she's wild. Her mouth is wide open and her energy is vibrating and moving. And she's, she's totally in action. And the, the movement is so fast that it's vibrating and it moves. And her hair is swaying and her hair is moving back and forth. And she's looking into the ten directions. And anybody who invokes upon this great dakini, simha muka, or by the power of her prayers, immediate obstacles will be arrested. Immediate problems will be arrested. If you do her as your personal yidam, it's a very, very powerful practice for protection against weapons, protection against projectiles, against magic, specifically magic that are sent to you for you. Not just you walk near an area and you, something follows you home, specifically to you. And her practice is very, very powerful and very quick for accomplishing Obstacles that arise when you want to do Dharma practice. In the great monasteries such as Gandin, Sarah, Gandin Monastery, every single day the monks will debate. Before debate, they will do an invocation to the goddess Sing Dong Ma, and they recite her mantra and clap. After they recite her mantra and clap, obstacles dispel. For doing immediate Dharma practice, she is excellent, excellent for dispelling obstacles for Dharma. And one who wants to engage in, who, one who wants to, um, uh, exercise spirits, exercise beings, and you have no choice. Simhu Mukha or Sing Doma is very powerful for that. Her female lion's head represents that she is queen, queen of the literally the samsaric jungle. Her body is naked, meaning no conventions can chain her down and hold her down anymore. She shows you her secret organ openly and just without care. No, no care. She's totally rude. Why? She's showing you that it's not. You, she is rude. It is you who have conventions and projections who view her as rude, but she is free. Her body is blue, representative of her Dharmakaya nature, which she has achieved emptiness. Dharmakaya nature is achieving emptiness fully. She is not a worldly deity. She is not a worldly lady. She is fully enlightened. And her mouth is gaping, gaping and open, ready to swallow, to absorb, to take your sufferings and problems. Dancing on a corpse. And her body is filled with fire. Violent, virulent, not smoke, not wind, pure fire. Unlike Benin Lamo, who is Oreo, is burned obstacles, so it's smoke and wind, so you see dark. Around Benin Lamo, you don't see much fire, you see darkness. Why? In her, it's considered the obstacles are burned, so there's just smoke. But in Sing Dong Ma, she completely is on fire, surrounded. It's incredible, Sing Dong Ma's practice. Very effective. So when we do her, we do her chakra, when we wear her chakra, has all the benefits of any Buddha, but violent, quick, fast energy. Example here. And her prayer is very short. We wish those who are fortunate enough to engage in it. Even without, uh, uh, even without initiation, you may engage in this, although it's very, very, very powerful. And it uh, says here, Glorious Adamatine goddess, wrathful female with a lion's face, whose fire of gnosis emanates light rays. Lion-faced goddess, I bow down to you. Akasamaraza, Shandaraza, Maraya, Pe. Lion-faced Dakini, because of the force and the power of the recitation of your mantra, let enemies who torment us teachers, pupils, and attendants, 
hindering spirits who harm us, obstructive conditions, and in short, every enduring inauspiciousness be turned back. Hosts of blazing, wrathful females. She doesn't have any male entourage. She doesn't like men. She eats them. She wears a t-shirt. Men are my pets. <laughs> Hosts of blazing, wrathful females. Smash into dust motes the body and speech of all the nature of hindering foes and release their consciousness into Dhammadatu. She is so violent that when it's necessary, she will kill you. She will kill you and instantly she will project your mind into Dhammadatu. It means what? A pure land. So when you do something so bad that if you continue, you're going to go to one of the lower realms. Out of her great compassion, she will annihilate you. Annihilate you into bliss. She is very virulent, very violent. And through the recitation of your mantra, let me quell all injury, achieve my aims just as I wish, and spread the doctrine and teachings and practice. She's specifically excellent to do in Dharma institutions, Dharma centers, Dharma projects to cut obstacles for Dharma. <laughs>